47 p.m., our office received a uh, 911 transfer call from Adams County Sheriff's Office uh, in West Union. Um, that call was from a residence at 987. Uh, a female caller uh, called advising that there was an unresponsive uh, five-year-old female at the residence. We later determined the correct address uh, to be 897 uh, Flat Run Road, which is in Hamer Township in the, uh, near the Highland County, uh, Adams County line. Uh, deputies and, and fire EMS personnel from Hillsborough Fire and Rescue were immediately dispatched to the scene, arrived on the scene approximately 10 minutes later. Uh, and did find the uh, uh, female victim uh, deceased. The uh, female victim was located in, the, in an attached garage, uh, located at the residence. Uh, there were also three adult males, one adult female at the residence. Uh, scene was secured, and individuals uh, were secured for uh, additional and further investigation. Uh, the Highland County Coroner's Office was was notified as well as Highland County Prosecutor Annika Collins uh, notified and uh, she responded to the scene also. The victim has been identified as Jada Beth Williams, age five. She did have visible trauma um, about her body um, and we believe and evidence at the scene indicated that uh, her death uh, was, a, was a criminal act. The Ohio Bureau of Criminal Investigation uh, was uh, requested for assistance and they dispatched a, a team of crime scene investigators as well as other uh, special agents um, and assist us in this investigation interviews of uh, uh, numerous witnesses that, that are involved in this case. As of uh, right now, uh, we have executed uh, four search warrants, uh, various types of uh, search warrants to include real estate, bodily fluids and cell phones. Uh, late yesterday evening, body was removed from the scene uh, and uh, transported to the Montgomery County Coroner's Office in Dayton, Ohio, where an autopsy is being conducted this morning. Uh, two individuals, a 38-year-old male and an 18-year-old male, uh, were held for additional investigation uh, late yesterday afternoon and yesterday evening uh, by Holland County detectives as the uh, investigation into the death of uh, Jada Beth continues. Um, just a short time ago, charges were filed uh, for murder in Hillsborough Municipal Court against the 18-year-old male. He is identified as Matthew Caleb Pearson. Uh, his, his last known address is the address on Flat Run Road where he had resided um, just very recently um, just for the past several days, and his relationship to the victim is he, he is the victim's uncle. And as you can expect, uh, this, this investigation is less than 24 hours old. It's very fluid at this point. Uh, we still have detectives interviewing people, analyzing evidence, transporting evidence to the lab, and so forth. Uh, so there's uh, a, a lot of information we're still gathering, uh, but uh, we uh, we, uh, we're just working on making making this the best case we can for the prosecutor's office. Uh, you know, I can tell you the charges it could be they could be upgraded based on the findings of the autopsy, uh, based on investigation. But right now, their uh, <coughs> murder charges have been filed. The uh, Mr. Pearson will be arraigned uh, tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. at Hillsborough Municipal Court before the judge, Honorable. Uh, David H. McKenna, presiding judge in Hillsborough Municipal Court. And the case uh, will be presented uh, once the investigation is complete to the upcoming session of the Highland County Grand Jury. Um, and they meet here in Highland County anyway, the Grand Jury meets monthly. Uh, that's the information uh, that we're putting forward right now. Again, the investigation is still very fluid, uh, it's still ongoing. Uh, and it's, it's possible that additional charges could be filed and additional people could be arrested. And I don't want to draw any timelines right now or give you a, uh, a time of death or anything like that. that that's going to come as the investigation uh, flows forward. Several pieces of evidence were seized uh, from the uh, house, let's just say the property itself, house and garage, uh, and will be submitted uh, for forensic evaluation, I guess. At this time, it's just too early to tell less than 24 hours into the investigation to decide what 
you know, what sort of punishment we're going to be seeking would be premature and irresponsible at this point to make that determination. We will put we will put out uh, updates, news release updates uh, as as warranted. Uh, again, we, we hope to have a preliminary uh, autopsy report today from the Montgomery County Coroner's Office. Uh, depending upon the results of that, it, it, it may or may not be released. Uh, depending upon, again, I don't want to do anything to uh, hamper our investigation uh, into other individuals uh, or the individual that's, that's been charged. 